live at 6. Good evening, I'm Mallory Maddox. And I'm John Nicely. Last night we showed you how a national city ranks roads in the Omaha Metro among the worst in the country. Streets are in desperate need of repair. Tonight, Brandon Scott takes a closer look at how the city plans to pay for it. Brandon? John and Mallory, these roads are rough and the plan to fix them rests on the shoulders and the checkbooks of the drivers who use them. The mayor's proposed 2016 budget would add more than $1 million in funding for street resurfacing and repairs, allowing the city to spend a total of $8.8 .8 million to fix battered and broken roads. Here's where all of that money comes from, the Douglas County Treasurer's Office, where Omaha drivers pay annual wheel taxes, designated to help pay for street repairs. Philip Crossland owns two vehicles, including a truck, bringing his wheel tax bill to more than $300. It's a sticker shot, kind of, yeah, it's very high. Currently, the city wheel tax is $50 for a standard passenger vehicle and up to $100 more for larger, heavier trucks. When I think of a wheel tax, I think of a tax per wheel. Is that how this works? No, it's based on uh, vehicles and vehicle weight. Okay, so it's not $50 per tire. No. Plus your spare in the back. <laughs> no, not <laughs> at all. As Douglas County Treasurer, John Ewing is tasked with collecting all of that money. $19.1 million countywide in just the past year. That figure would grow if Omaha's proposed annexation plan is approved, adding 14,000 people to the city. More neighborhoods means more vehicles and more wheel taxes. It's a revenue generator for the city of Omaha. But not everyone here in Omaha pays these taxes. Coming up at 630, we will tell you why. Meanwhile, John and Mallory, the mayor's proposed 2016 budget does not include the annexation plan, so that almost $9 million set aside for street repair, that will likely go up if that annexation is approved by the city council. All right, thanks, Brandon. And as